no silly ideas here. Write it all down. Write under each task what would make it easier? How can you find support and ask for help? What could you delegate? Hey, I'm Jim, like a gemstone, and I'm a Kiwi, aka a New Zealander, living in the States, changing people's lives and businesses. How? Well, I'm a boho boss babe, and with my 16 years experience in the law of attraction, eight years owning my fitness business, and five years as a 200 hour yoga and meditation teacher, I combine my mind, body, and soul practices with my proven business strategy and strengths to help you make more money, live in alignment and flow, give you your time back, and live a rich and enriched life of your dreams because you deserve to be healthy, wealthy, and happy. So if you're ready to learn how to shift your mindset, attract what you want, create boundaries, avoid burnout, delegate, manage your teams, empower your staff, strategize and restructure your business, market and sell, find new streams of income, and create the balanced, fulfilled life of your dreams, then grab your coffee or tea and enjoy this episode of the Gym Body Mind Podcast. Females are notorious for trying to do everything themselves and not outsourcing and asking for help. Now, we're also notorious for having high levels of anxiety and dissatisfaction with our life. But it's in our DNA. If you look at it in the culture and, and looking even prehistoric days, right? Men were built to hunt for food and bring it back and feed the family, right? Well, they provided us the food. And they used their strength to build our huts and houses and, and, you know, what have you. Now, the females did everything else. They had to juggle because they had to raise the kids, okay? So they had to juggle that, juggle other people and raise other people, okay? And then everything else, you know, around the house and the family. So then obviously come more into modern day times, Again, there is still this leftover, like, men are the breadwinners. Men go and do, you know, the earning of the money. Okay, and again, look, times are changing, I know. But just, it, it, this is like an innate feeling inside us. It's like in our DNA, okay? We ha- we're not evolved enough to have, like, this is still left over in our blood. Because females, at the end of the day, are the ones that have the babies, We have the babies, we are natural nurturers, okay, we're going to raise this child, we feed it, we raise it, we we do all the things, like, that, we can't really change that, still have, we still need the human, uh, the female body to be pregnant and to carry a child, we're just not that far into the future yet, okay, so females, we still have this, and then, so now, our natural duty of raising a child and organizing and running the household, we're also very ambitious, okay? We're also really ambitious. We want lives of our own. We want careers of our own. We want more in life. We're out there. We're boss babes. We're go-getters. We're business owners. We're doing our thing. We are craving more and we are stepping up, but we still have to raise the children. We still have to cook the dinner, (laughs) I mean, and maybe this isn't the case in in your household, but it's just, it's ingrained in the female. So then you have a female entrepreneur or or business owner with generational behavior and patterning of having to do everything, run everything, raise everybody, you know, do all the things. And we run into a really big problem as business owners and that is thinking that we have to do everything ourselves. We have to do everything ourselves. We can't delegate. Okay, we don't know how to ask for help. We think it's some kind of a sign of weakness as well and with the rise of the female entrepreneur, we don't want to show any weakness. Because we almost don't want to prove to men that we have a weakness, right? We want to prove that we are just as strong and just as emotionless and, you know, that we are equal. And of course we are. We're coming up with all of this nonsense because it's just ingrained, okay? It's just, it's generational 
and it, we've grown up like this. this. It's society, okay? But we don't want to show any weakness. And this is a problem. This is a problem, ladies. So do you have problems yourself with asking for help, with delegating, with outsourcing, with having somebody else do the things that you don't need to be doing? Okay, you don't have to do absolutely everything. You're going to get burnt out. If you have children and you are raising those children and you're cooking the dinner and you're you know doing the homework and you're keeping the house clean and you're trying to run either a side hustle business or a full-time business or even just you're full-time in corporate and you've got all of the home life and all of the things, all of the things, do you have to do it all? Let me really, really ask you this. Do you have to do it all? What are you trying to prove? Is it something that you're trying to prove? Okay, deep down, ask yourself, like, I'm proving that I can do it all because maybe sometimes, okay, there is a common limiting belief that we learn in our childhood that we are not good enough, that we are not worthy. And and this can show up, it shows up <laughs> in, in so many different aspects of our life as, as adults, but it's different for everybody. We've usually learned it either from a child, you know, bullying us, a parent, a divorce, like something. It's different for everybody, but it's a very common theme that we feel like we are not worthy and that we're not good enough. So we spend our lives trying to prove that we are to everybody and to ourself. This is a huge problem because we put everything on our plate and we're like, we've got this. I've got, you know, I can do all the things. I've got it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And, da, 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 da. and everybody needs me. And, and let's see, everybody needs me. So I feel worthy. All right. And this is where that high levels of anxiety, depression, stress, and dissatisfaction of life. This is where it comes into it. Because you can't sustain that. You are going to burn out. You're going to burn out. You do not need to prove anything to anybody. There is no weakness in asking for help. And nobody will think any less of you or think that you are less of a badass if you outsource some jobs or some roles or some responsibilities, okay? So if any of this is ringing true for you, if you're sitting here and you're going, yes, I'm, I am, I feel like I'm doing everything and there, I have to do everything myself and there is no help and... You're just, you're feeling all of this tense energy and you're, you feel it in your traps and your shoulders are raising up and you just, you're clenching your fists and it's just this constant battle every day and you're just, ah, uh, at your, at your wit's end. If that rings true for you, if this is sitting, okay, if this is landing, then we need to talk about this. We need to ask for help. How do we ask for help? It's not just as easy as that, is it? Because usually asking for help, it's coming from maybe we've lived 25 to, to 55 years of not asking for help. So the first thing that you've got to do is notice if you're feeling all of this strain and tense energy. Just notice and notice if you agreed with me when I was saying, do you feel like this all, all day? Da, da, da. I've got to do everything myself. Okay. Yes. Is that true? Okay. Can we then declare right here, right now? Let's declare it right here and right now. I am going to ask for help. Say it to yourself. Say it out loud, whether you're in the car, whether you're in your office, wherever you are. Hopefully, if you're by yourself <laughs> and you, you know, or if you're not by yourself and you feel a little bit weird saying it out loud, say it out loud later when you are by yourself. But please repeat after me. I am going to ask for help. You have to put that out into the universe. Declaration, okay? Something tangible. I am going to ask for help. I also want you to repeat, I don't have to do everything myself. I don't have to do everything myself. Another one. I have support. I have support. Whether you believe it or not, okay? Because this is, again... You have support, 
okay? You have support. I'm telling you now, you have support, whether you believe it or not. Because I, I guarantee you that some of you may be like, but I don't. I don't have support. I don't believe that. I have to do everything myself. You do have support. You have me. <laughs> okay? You have me. You have hundreds of other different coaches and people that can help you. Because again, it is a mindset thing. It is a mindset. And we're going to help you change some of these patterns and some of these limiting beliefs. It's a mindset. Okay? And then obviously, we're going to talk about how to actually hire and outsource and stuff like that. Okay? But you do have support. You do have support. My email address is gem at gembodymind.com. There you go. <laughs> okay. So now that we've declared all of this, okay, now we've put that out there. We've, we've accepted it. Woof. <sighs> Can we breathe a little bit deeper now? Okay. <laughs> Can we breathe a little bit deeper? I now want you to either mentally or physically write a list of all of the tasks that you have to do in every single day. Every task, well, every responsibility, okay? So let's just say it's running my business, managing my team, taking care of myself, running my household, raising two kids, walking the dogs. I want you to just, just list the big tasks. And then I want you to look at each thing, each list, like walking the dogs, okay? Because that's me, I, that, that's my big responsibility three to four times a day. <laughs> okay, so walking the dogs. I want you to sit with that and I want you to get creative, okay? Get creative and ask, how can somebody support me in this task and where can I ask for help? So for instance, let's say it's walking the dogs, right? How can I get support and, and how can I ask for help? Well, I could find a dog walker. So I write that down, find a dog walker. Have my husband walk them more than me? Or ask my husband to walk them when I'm busy. Write that down. And go through each task like this. Go through each task. So it could be managing the household. You can break that down because that's kind of, that's a huge one, right? So it, it's the cleaning, it's the cooking, it, it's all of those things. So you can sit there and you can go... I can order pre-cooked healthy meals delivered right to my door. I could hire a cleaner once a week. I could put in my calendar one hour a week or one hour a day or whatever it is dedicated to cleaning where I don't book any appointments. I don't book any children's activities. I don't book anything else around this one hour. This is my laundry hour, as an example, okay? Ask my husband to unload the dishwasher three times a week. Whatever it is, and again, I don't know your relationship, right? <laughs> I don't know your relationship, but I want you to, there are no silly ideas here. Write it all down. Write under each task, what would make it easier? How can you find support and ask for help? What could you delegate? Even just by doing that, you can actually look at the list like, oh, wow, I could ask for so much help here. Like I could really take off so much from my plate if I did this, 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 and this. It becomes tangible, okay? It becomes like physically you can see it written down and you're like, oh, wow, wow. My life could be easier if I just did some of these things. This is possible. Then what I want you to do, I want you to choose at least three. I want you to choose at least three things that you are going to ask for help with, outsource, find support, or, you know, delegate, hire out. Three things, just three things, okay, today or tomorrow. Within 24 hours, let's say, within 24 hours, do, do this little task, write it all down and pick three things that you are going to ask for help with. And if it feels really awkward, if you've got some really big, deep down, you know, limiting, limiting behaviors and beliefs around asking for help, maybe you just start with one really small one. Okay, little baby steps, little baby steps. Now that you have that list, I want you to start working on, again, baby steps, one thing at a time, or three, whatever you feel comfortable with, okay? 
and just start going through that list and asking for help on each one. You may find that hiring an assistant or hiring a chief operating officer or hiring somebody to take off a bunch of that stuff. Wow, could you see how much time that is going to give you back? How much less stress you will be under every single day so that you can show up as your best self in all areas of your life. Why would you not want to do that? Why would you not want to hire out or outsource or ask for help so that you could be a better version of you? The best version of you. There is nothing wrong with that at all all because doing everything yourself and running yourself ragged is not doing anything for anybody around you and it's not doing anything for yourself it's not doing anything for yourself so i really want you to think maybe you can do a a, you know get higher help in one area like one person which may be able to eliminate 10 of your tasks imagine that what would you do with yourself? <laughs> Go to the movies more, like <laughs> hang out with friends, watch your favorite movie on the couch with your slippers and your PJs and your hot cup of tea. Oh my gosh, does that not sound amazing? So if you do need more assistance in this area, you know where to find me. Okay, you found me here, you found my podcast. You can also reach out to me, gem at gembodymind.com, www.gembodymind.com. You can follow me on Instagram at gem underscore Munro, M-U-N-R-O, because I am here to help. I am your support, okay? You can also hire me as your coach. You can hire me as your creative director. You can hire me as your chief operating officer. Yes, these are some things that I do for my clients. So see, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you for listening in today. I really, really hope that you can see that there is a chance, there is an opportunity to live a much less stressed out life. There is help around you. There is support. I am here We're here for you. You don't have to do everything yourself. We live in the 2020s, okay? You can have it all, but by having it all, you're going to need help along the way. I love you so much. Have a phenomenal, phenomenal day.